in new life news homeless man who helped catch a catch an escaped prisoner gets a hundred thousand dollar reward now this to me you can go from like today i, I can be like who, who i am today then say say if i applied for the lottery or not applied but got a lottery ticket i won like a million dollars that my life would change after that so this man's life is going to completely change even though you can't live live your rest of your life with a hundred thousand dollars you can you can pre, you can get decently started and get a nice job and make more money off of that so like i said a homeless man received a hundred thousand dollars which is seventy one thousand euros for you people that are in um that don't use the, the dollar system um for for helping the police catch two men, not one, but two men who who were on the run. So Matthew Hay Champman, I think is how you pronounce the name. He's from San Francisco. He gave the police a tip, a tip about about the wanted men who escaped from the Orange County Jail six days previous. So Matthew spotted a stolen white van being used from, from the fugitives, um, whose whose names are Hussein, I, I think, who is 37, and Jonathan, who is 20. I don't know why these people are in. I don't know why these people are in jail, but the article doesn't go into that. They just say is that this man helped the police catch these two who escaped from prison, and he had, and Matthew had recognized the, the photos shown on the on the news report. Maybe he's seen him on, um, on light post or not, not not light post, you, utility pole like they say wanted, or maybe he saw him somewhere, or maybe maybe he just read the newspaper. Who knows? And and he saw this in, in January. The fugitive sparked a statewide manhunt, which ended with with Matthew, who is the homeless man, suspected someone was sleeping in a van parked outside a Whole Foods store and, and he alerted the police. So these these two were just out blatantly in the middle of, in, in, basically in the middle of a parking lot in, in, in this white van. I guess nobody would know that it was them unless they they would they were suspected of it because white vans are creepy for the most part and you should, you should suspect that something's going on in those white vans. Um, so this is a quote that he told I believe ABC earlier earlier this month, and this is from Matthew. Quote: Main thing I noticed, people were sleeping in it, caused because the windows were all steamed up, steamed up because of heavy heavy condensation. And he told us, like I said, to ABC earlier. And he also continued with, I thought I thought to myself, these two people in that van, because I used to live in a Savannah GMC van many years ago when I had a job. So previous to being homeless, when, when he did have a job, he used to sleep in these vans. So he knew that you could sleep in these vans and, and live, a, live a good, live a decent life, still sleeping in a van, but not being in a house. He saw he saw one of the men leave the van and, and head to McDonald's for a breakfast and managed to flag down a police cruiser as he walked to the station to, to report it. So the, the, these two criminals are not doing a very good job of hiding from the police. They're just out in the middle, out in the open, sleeping in a van, going to McDonald's for breakfast. These two are not the smartest. They, they should be just locked up for the life of being stupid. The owner of the stolen van received twenty thousand dollars, which is fourteen thousand euros reward. So I guess they they obviously stole stole the van from, stole the van from somebody, and that the owner got twenty thousand dollars for some reason. I'm not quite sure. Um, the Orange County Board of Supervisors ruled, while two retail employees who also reported the men to the police were were spotted them on CCTV acting suspiciously, and they also received fifteen thousand dollars and eleven thousand euros. So a lot of people are getting paid for this. The, the guy who stole the van and the pe two people who suspected. This guy on on surveillance and reported to the police. So that's why if you suspect something, always report it to the police because you might end up with a cash reward like these two. Um, so Matthew, who is unable to work due to a chronic health issue, revealed his plans to use the money to for a fresh start and also wants to give some money to his children. Orange County supervisor told San Francisco Gate, I believe, quote, he said he had he had a duty to bring to the individuals back into custody. That that was really cool. A lot of people are afraid if they. If they participate, they will get hurt. End quote. So well, most people think if they if they report something and then the the criminals find out that and then once once they get out, they're going to come for this person. But in this case, they are back in prison, which is good. This guy's going to get a new life. A few other people got a decent amount of money also. So if you guys want to check this article for yourselves, the link is down in the description box below, and the link for last week's news article, news article is also down there. Also, if you want to check that out. So I'm gonna thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, and I will see you guys next week. Peace. In Dad of the Year news, father saved his son from being hit by a flying baseball bat that could have ended his life. Um, so Sean Cunningham.